What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and we've got a very exciting video for you guys today. This here is the iPhone 8 clone. It's not the actual iPhone 8, chill, chill. This is a working clone of the iPhone 8. I'm really interested to see how good or how bad it is and how similar it will be to what we've already seen in terms of the leaks. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Now the first thing you'll see is that it's actually very nicely presented. The box actually looks like an official iPhone box. Uh, the design is very similar to what we had with the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus with this uh, colored image of the iPhone on this white box. Apple tend to change this year on year ever so slightly, so I'd assume it's gonna be slightly different on the new iPhone. And we have the logo on the left and right, the Apple logo on the top and bottom. And then we have the info here, 128GB. It may not be 128GB, we'll see anyway. And it's also wrapped in this plastic, so let's go ahead and get it out. So first thing, the plastic didn't come off as easily as it would do on an original iPhone. And let's go ahead and get it outside of the box. So we have the designed by Apple in California. I doubt it. And inside this here, we have the SIM card ejector tool and also the quick start guide. And here is the iPhone 8 clone. So what we'll do is we'll leave this at the side while we look at what else we get inside the box. So we do have the three pin charger and this actually looks like a really good replica. We have some earbuds and these are actually lightning earbuds as well. That's quite impressive. I didn't expect these to be lightning. I was expecting 3.5 millimeter, but uh, that's also really impressive how they've managed to clone these. And finally, we also have a lightning cable. Now, because this is a clone, it's gonna be running Android with a skin version of iOS. And I was expecting this to have something like micro USB, but it actually does have a lightning connector. It'll be interesting to see if the iPhone 8 clone will actually work with the original iPhone cable and charger, although I'm probably not gonna try it just in case this explodes. Anyway, so that's everything inside the box. So let's have a look at the phone. Now, the first thing is that this plastic is not uh, applied as well as it would have been, but let's go ahead and get it off. And there it is, the iPhone 8 clone. Now, first impressions, I have to say this thing does look legit. Uh, I'm not sure what materials they've used. It might be plastic and glass, but they have tried to replicate this as close as possible to the leaks that we've seen. So we've got this frame and it seems like a glass panel. That's what the iPhone 8 will have and that's gonna be so it can support wireless charging. We can also see this vertical camera placement. So we've got horizontal camera placement on the iPhone 7 Plus, but this is gonna be changed to vertical on the iPhone 8. Now we do have this camera bump here as well. Uh, from all the leaks and rumors we've seen, it looks like this is gonna stay, so that might be disappointing for a few of you. But the camera should perform pretty well on the official iPhone. On this one, I'm not so sure, and I very much doubt that these are both actual cameras. I'm assuming that it will just be the one camera, and the second one will just be a dummy. Now looking around the phone, so at the top there is nothing. On the left hand side, we have the mute switch as well as the volume buttons. On the right hand side is the power button as well as the SIM card tray. At the bottom, we have the lightning port. This does have a lightning port and the speaker grills. So one of these is a mic and the other one will be a speaker. The iPhone 8 is likely to have dual stereo speakers. So one as the earpiece and one at the bottom. I doubt this one has that. And finally looking at the front, well, firstly, it's already switched on. So that's something that I wasn't expecting and apparently it's still got 84% battery life. So while it was in the box and being shipped to me all that time, it was switched on. So I'm surprised that it's still got 84% battery life, although that might also be fake, who knows. Now, the first thing that you'll notice on this is that it's definitely not like what we've seen on the leaks of the iPhone 8. The iPhone 8 is supposed to be having a near bezel-less display this obviously has not been replicated well here on this clone. Now this is actually a really positive thing for Apple because the iPhone 8 is not gonna be as easy 
to clone because of that bezel-less display. We know that displays with minimal bezels do cost quite a lot, so it's very unlikely that these cloners are gonna be able to replicate that anytime soon anyway. So this way, if you are gonna be buying an iPhone 8, you will be able to buy it with confidence and you won't have to worry about being scammed with a clone. Now, if you look closer, you can see that they've tried to replicate the look of the iPhone 8, and we do have these curved edges here and a longer display size, but we have black bars on the top and bottom. So essentially, the display that you get on this clone here is 4.7 inches, the same as what we've got on the iPhone 7. Now, another thing about this clone is that it's actually running Android, but has a skin to make it look like iOS and this is really impressive because if you were to give this to somebody who's not really techy, they might actually be fooled that this is iOS running on this. So all the icons, uh, the notification toggles and everything are skinned to look like iOS. Even the settings here, let's see if we can find out what software version we have. The, the software version here as well shows iOS 11.0.1. This is clearly not the case. Now for the camera on this clone, uh, I have no idea what megapixels it is, but uh, let's see if it does the, you know, the, the optical zoom doesn't really give you much zoom at all. Uh, if I cover up the second lens here, you can see that even by zooming, it has no effect on what you're seeing in the display, which means that the bottom lens here is purely for visual purposes and it doesn't actually have a camera. And there is a capacitive uh, home button here. So although we don't have a physical home button, you can tap here and that will vibrate a little bit as well. We obviously don't have 3D touch on here, but if you do press and hold on the icons, then you do get the additional options. So it's very impressive how much they've tried to replicate the original iPhone and all of its features on here. Now let's go ahead and try to compare this iPhone in terms of the size to the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus here. And the first thing you'll notice straight away is the size. This is pretty much the exact same size as the iPhone 7. The actual iPhone 8 is gonna be slightly bigger than the iPhone 7, but it is gonna have a 5.7 inch OLED display. So expect the size to be in between the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Now you can see that I've debranded my iPhone 7 and 7 Plus here with a carbon fiber skin as well as a concrete skin from Dbrand, our sponsor on the channel. If you wanna pick up some skins for your iPhones and even the iPhone 8 when it comes out, then definitely check them out. I'll be leaving a link to them in the description below. So guys, that's pretty much it for the iPhone 8 clone. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with how well they've built this and how close they've got it to the leaks. Everything down to the box as well as the fake iOS software. This thing has been made to look like the new iPhone. What do you think of this clone, guys? And would you like me to cover more clones as we get better ones? Definitely drop me a comment and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. If you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch your notifications. There's plenty more content coming up in here. Thanks for watching. This is Safon, Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.